Well, hi, everybody. Uh, you, we're filming another episode of At Home in the Crow's Nest Pass. Uh, I have Heather Davis from Uplift Adventures here. Hi, Heather. Hello, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first uh, attempt at a Zoom call virtual at home uh, video here. So bear with us. We're, we're rookies. Uh, I'd like to point out I'm wearing my brand new Uplift Adventure t-shirt here. Uh, that's lovely. Get yours today. Um, <laughs> there, honestly, I think it's the most comfortable shirt. I wore out my, my first shirt that I had to get a second shirt. Oh, wow. Um, they're super comfy. So um, Everybody needs to run out and get theirs. Uh, give Heather a call or an email. So, and, your, and your wife yeah. kept stealing your last one, didn't she? Yeah, well, that was also <laughs> why it got uh, wore out really quickly, because it was a communal shirt. So I had to buy her her own as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Uh, I'm sure Candace will love that you pointed that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I like um, about the t-shirts too is that we're supporting local artists um, by creating a graphic on the front um, to try to give back to our local artists within Crow's Nest Pass as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so Heather, today we're going to talk about uh, a joint project that uh, we, uh, you and I initiated and Heather, you did most, if not all, the work on, um, and it turned out fantastic, is our Mystery Towns Crow's Nest Pass tour that you can, uh, anybody can do. Um, all you need is a mobile app and uh, head into Blairmore. So um, it was really super fun to work on. And uh, I think I'm still the top, I have the top time in the, on the tour. I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't checked recently, but I'm pretty sure Ian McKenzie and I have the uh, fastest run. So challenges out there. But uh, do you want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah. Well, you and Ian certainly um, <laughs> have an advantage. So for those of you that don't know Chris and Ian McKenzie, they're kind of um, the super nerds when it comes to history and Crow's Nest Pass, and that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you guys did really, really well. I think you'd be hard to beat, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, Mystery Towns, the Mystery Towns game. Um, the reason we even started the game, uh, so last, when Uplift Adventures started, we were trying to do Discover Crows Nest Pass in Blairmore, and it was a, a walking tour. And I really loved it. I really loved the information. Um, and I don't know if you could hear my dog in the background, but he's in the background and he's madly licking himself right now. Um, but uh, we, we wanted, I wanted to do some more history and heritage and celebrate the history of Crow's Nest Pass because it's, it's very um, amazing and inspirational and interesting. Uh, I quite often tell people that before I moved to Christmas Pass, I didn't even like history, and now I just can't get enough of it because it's so fascinating. And you've come to the dark side. I've gone, I've gone to the dark side, and I can't get out. Like I'm yeah. just diving further and further and further. Um, so. Uh, yeah, we were doing these Discovered Crow's Nest Pass and Blairmore, and I know Cro um, the Crow's Nest Museum helped out big time with that, and I'm always, and I will always be so grateful for that. And, um, but I felt like I wanted to make it a little bit more engaging, um, and maybe a little bit more hands-off as well. So I started looking and seeing what other places were doing, and I discovered Mystery Towns. Uh, and I got in touch with Mystery Towns and they're based in Canmore so they're not very far away and they're still an Alberta based business which means a lot to me because I try to do as many things um, local and support as much local businesses as possible where it makes sense. So um, I got in touch with Andrew Nicker Nicholson and and I met him in Canmore when I was driving through one, one day and found out a little bit more about how we can bring a Mystery Towns game to Christmas Pass. And this was, I think, September 2018. And, um, and you know, building an app is not cheap. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, you know, I'd love to have this game, but I know it's not um, something that I can just 
do, but now I know what it takes to make it happen. And, and I came to you, Chris, and I told you, and I know you love the idea, like instantly, like you're almost always on board. And I, that's one of the reasons why I like working with you so much is it's just like, yeah, let's do it. Let's figure out how to make it happen. You have good ideas. Of course I'm going to do <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to tell my husband you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Darren. <laughs> um, and, and so, you know, um, we both knew what the platform meant and, and how to make it happen. Um, we just needed to figure out that funding side of it. And it was kind of funny because I, I always watch grants and things like that. And I, I saw that a grant was being extended. And to me, when I see a grant being extended, it usually means that they had very little people apply for it. And I sent it to the museum thinking that the museum could use it. And you came back to me instantly and you're like, why don't we use this to make the Mystery Towns game? And I wasn't even thinking it, um, but you said it and I was like, sounds good, let's do it, let's try, right? And, and we went for it and we got that grant funding through the Alberta government to create this game. And it was, it was, it's such a beautiful partnership because it's giving back to the museum. It's giving back to Uplift Adventures and to Mystery Town. So two small businesses mm -hmm. and um, our local museum. So that's beautiful in itself. So that's kind of how the Mystery Towns came about. And Mystery Towns is um, an app that you put on your phone and then you purchase the game. And you can purchase these games in many locations. And it's a very um growing it's a growing trend right now having these apps on your phone so that they help you discover an area and this one's really fun because it's a game at the same time it's kind of like a scavenger hunt kind of like um an escape room and you can compete with it you cannot compete with it um, it's timed mm -hmm. and it's really really engaging um, and it's a high quality experience that people get. So you can play them all over, like they're in Edmonton and Calgary, Vancouver, of course, of course Canmore, where they are based. Um, and we got Crozen's Pass on that map and people travel just to do these games. So it's really, it's really neat to be on that map with them.